Okay guys, in the last video, we learned about type inference. So if we have a declaration for n1 is equal to 10, TypeScript infers that n1 is of type number. So now if we try n1 is equal to high, TypeScript is going to flag this as an error. So if I hover over it, it says type string is not assignable to type number. And this is because when we declared the variable, TypeScript inferred that the data type of n1 is going to be a number. So it is going to prevent us from assigning any other type of value to n1. So type inference helps us by identifying mistakes when we are writing our code. However, it is not always reliable. Consider this example. I'm going to just comment this out. So let's say we have var n2 and this is going to be equal to n1 plus 10. So what, we, what, so what we assume is that we have created a variable n2 that accepts numeric value. And if I hover over it, that is in fact true. n2 is of type number. But try this scenario. I'm going to change 10 to, let's, let's change this to hello. And now if I hover over n2, it, is, it has inferred, or TypeScript has inferred that n2 is of type string because on the right hand side, the plus is going to concatenate this string with this numeric value and the result is a string which is going to get assigned to n2. So now n2 type has changed from a number to a string. So when I go to the console and or try to log, log this onto the console, n2 and save this, and there you go, 10 is the number n1 and then hello, the string. So what I want to point out here is that it is not or it's always better to use type annotations rather than using type inference to declare variables. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.